there was a giant flea that the king wanted to succeed him on the throne, so the king fed him a fine Australian steak every day. Just a year ago, the princess celebrated her bar mitzvah, but the king was bored with her terrible singing. Then a flea appeared on the back of the king's hand. The king slapped it with his hand, but he didn't kill it. The flea played hide and seek with the king. This suddenly aroused the king's childlike spirit. When the princess finished her song, the king applauded perfunctorily. He couldn't wait to get back to his office. The king took a feather and pricked his finger. The fresh blood was quickly consumed by the flea. After the flea had eaten his fill, the king gave it a luxurious bedroom. The king pushed everything aside in order to have a good time with the flea. He also built a carriage out of pure gold. The flea was happy to be the coachman. This made the king happy as a child. As time went by, the flea grew to the size of a sow. But one night, the doctor was suddenly summoned by the king. The flea was having trouble breathing because he had eaten too much.